Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Chuck the Poet! Ladies and gentlemen, this first poem is called Windy Wig. It goes out to all the people wearing wigs. The wind was blowing through the precinct. It was such a swirly day. Leaves on the old plastic bag catch the breeze and sway. There's a wig lost, lost and abandoned. Looks like a rat that's dead. Don't approach it, it's really dangerous and completely off its head. <laughs> this one goes out to all the rich people who've got a boat. Anybody got a boat? Let's keep it local. Anybody ever worked at Fairline? You've been in a boat. I needed a little project, I decided to build a boat. I knew the difference between port and starboard, and that it had to float. So I constructed it in the attic, and made it waterproof. Once I've built one, I'll make more. Sails will go through the roof. <laughs> you think that uh, I've been wasteful? in the lockdown months. You're right. Now there is something, uh, a problem that seems in Corby. Can we say Corby? Do we not get a chill when we say Corby? Yeah. Let's try it again. Catry. Let's do it again. Corby! Yeah. That's what I like. Okay. There seems to be a problem in Corby with people riding their motorcycles uh, without a crash helmet, without tax, MOT and insurance. And it seems to be happening a lot on Willowbrook Road. So, I wrote this poem, and this isn't an indictment to all the people who drive their bikes sensibly with helmets and leathers. This is to the other group of people. This is called Tope. There's a twat on a bike revving up, making noise, missing helmet, one of those boys not fit for the road. No tax MOT, he can real drive real fast and pull a wheelie. He's just a twat on a bike, you see. Swerving past cars on the bypass road, part of a gang, no highway code. Used to practice up the field, no registration plate. I'd like to see him stopped by the law and given a ticket in court date. Find him, ban him, lock him away for the chance of that today. So the public nuisance rides off free one day. I hope he hits a tree, he's just a twat on a bike, you see. So, uh, my latest book, I spent the whole lockdown writing it, it's called Large Fromage. This is the poem Fromage. Um, if you like a certain synth band from the 90s, you might, 80s, you might like this song, a poem. I visited my local deli as I wanted some fromage. A great big block of Ultravox. I really want it large. She mean, you mean something from Vienna? Be more information, please. I said, no, a well-cultured truffle. You know, extra immediate your trees. She replied, it means nothing to me. Mediur, <laughs> mediur. No, not quite, it's a brock. So uh, here we go, this is a poem called Brock. Culture, you see, in a football bar. It's a poem about a fat badger, as big as a brock you can get. I don't do it when I'm performing, it just won't fit in the set. Right then. This is the last one before the band comes on. Are you ready for the band? Yeah. This one's called The Doctors. Uh, a, big, a big clap, just one big clap for the doctors, nurses, and the NHS. Yeah. This is called The Doctors. I woke up in the morning. 
again, feeling like a TP. By midday, it was awful. I felt like a marquee. So I went off to the doctor, and he simply said to me, you're too tense. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, keep clapping. Put your hands together. It's the band. They're coming on the army. It is the band.